Hey friends, Steve Chase here. We're going to look at using QuickBooks Online Cash Flow Planner to predict future expenses and income. This is a fairly recent uh, new addition to QuickBooks Online. So let's explore what the options are that you've got. Okay, so basically the Cash Flow Planner is going to look at past transactions, upcoming future transactions patterns, and make predictions. Uh, it does work with integrating your bank accounts, whether you have a checking account, savings account, credit cards that are linked up to the bank feeds in QuickBooks Online. It is meant to um, have hypothetical scenarios or future events that can be real. Uh, it ultimately, it comes down to it's just meant for planning purposes. Everything that's done in the cash flow planner is going to be a separate module interface and it does not affect your books at all so think of it as a sandbox where you can get some insights and key data about what your cash balances are going to be that accumulate over all of your linked um, accounts in there all right so let's get started i've got my quickbooks demo account open i'm on the dashboard and let me select business overview so this is where you're going to probably discover the first time taking a look at the cash flow planner. There's an integrated uh, widget that shows up on the business overview. However, uh, you're going to want to navigate to a different place to make um, the full use of the cash flow. And that's over on the left hand side under cash flow. You'll have an opportunity to navigate to the cash flow planner. First thing that you do when you get to the cash flow planner is you're going to have an opportunity to uh, see your account balance right off the bat. Now this balance is um, a combined balance between your linked bank accounts and credit card accounts for that period of, of duration of day. Upon selecting the drop down below, we're going to have an opportunity to make a change to these options here this month three months six months uh, 24 months right here is new so going you know with 24 months pretty pretty um, extended threshold out there all the way down to this month here okay when you hover over an actual uh, date in the past you're actually going to see the date of the the date the balance of the accounts and how much money in and out happen during that particular time frame here. Also important to realize in the upper right hand corner that you can see cash balance and money in money out. So I'm going to select the money in money out. Let's change this here to 12 months. And now we have a kind of a bird's eye view of the past money in money out and the, the future. As you can see it shaded here is the projections going forward here. So green money in, a blue money out that we see here. Okay, and again, this is going to change back and forth between the money in, money out, and the cash uh, balance here. Okay, so the default threshold is going to be uh, set at uh, zero. Clicking on the, the gear icon here, we can see which accounts are linked to your accounts and we have the ability here to uh, manage um, what you would like to have your threshold so in other words if you have a, a certain minimum threshold that's not zero floor we would have that ability there to, to manage that okay let's take a look down below what's really interesting down below the cash flow uh, grid that you see here whether it's the planner or the the columns format. We're going to see um, these future oriented transaction amounts and the different types here. So sometimes you'll see um, a, a history. <laughs> so we see uh, a predicted mark. We also see um, some icons here for invoices and so forth. And um, one of the things that's that's really 
interesting is that it's going to pick up on your past history. So in other words, like if you have a monthly fee for software for Intuit that you pay X amount each month, let's say you're on QuickBooks uh, plus and you're eighty dollars a month plus a little tax, you're you're gonna it's gonna see that and it's gonna actually place that in here as one of the money out transactions. The other thing is if you have recurring transactions, if you're on QuickBooks Essentials or higher, and you've got some scheduled um, events here, that also comes into play as well. So um, one of the things that you can do here is you can kind of go through these here and you can actually click on any of those and either remove modify um, or possibly change the date here and again none of this is going to affect your real books this is just kind of a playground area for you to try to make updates and go future into the future there okay. imagine um, that you know that um, come uh, two months from now you're going to be um, either having a, a big change in your cash balance. Maybe a, a, you're going to buy a vehicle or maybe you have money coming in. That's going to be something that you'd like to add an event to. So there's an option here that says add event. I'm going to click that. And then you'll have the ability to either say it's a one time or repeating option. So you know, for example, you could set up if you were have a thousand dollars of rent every month we could make that a monthly uh, transaction here so every month on the X day here or you know the first Monday of the month and have some settings here uh, let's say let's just go ahead and say rent and we'll say 1250 um, and it's going to be every month here okay and after 12, 12 occurrences, possibly it might go up after this 12 months. So something like that here. Um, I'm going to go and just, yeah, we'll just say monthly 12 times first, first Monday of the month. Let me hit save. All right. So that's going to um, make its way inside of these future projections as well. Um, another event here, if you are going to know an exact date, like let's say on October 15th, you're expecting to buy some equipment and it's going to be a huge purchase. So let's go with uh, $35,000 here. This is a one time money out transaction here that we can hit save here. And that's going to update. I could just see how it kind of just went down a little bit here in, in October here. As far as, you know, going out three months is kind of where it goes. Again, all of this is a safe place to play with the numbers. Your planner will not affect the rest of your regular QuickBooks. Um, it won't hit your balance sheet. won't hit your profit and loss. It's just a safe area here to do that. So how is it going to be uh, based again? Working with your bank feeds, you've got to have your bank feeds connected to your bank accounts. The more data that you have, the more predictable it's going to be. So come back into here more often and start to see some of these, these updated uh, future transactions that you see here coming through. Um, here you can see, there's what it looks like for the planned event here. It's got a little icon next to it representing that we did the monthly rent uh, for the first you know, Monday of each month here for that amount here. Lastly, I want to share with you that you do have the ability to create a PDF of this. And we can come over here and click on the, the PDF here. Um, when you do that, it generates um, the cash flow here. Pull it up like that. And you're going to see a grid with your balances on the left here. And then uh, what's kind of interesting here is playing with the future predictions of uh, money in, money out, and so, et cetera, like that. 
So a lot of cool things in here. Again, this is just a sample account here. This is a fake account here that I've got going on here. Just to sh test this out, cash flow. But what you can do is definitely get into your account, navigate to the cash flow planner, and start to poke around to see um, experiencing the money in and the money out and make those updates under the ad events here. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my other videos and upcoming live classes on my website at sequentialsolutions.com. And if you haven't yet uh, purchased QuickBooks online, be sure to check out the link that I have in the description below. That's going to get you a 30-day free trial. Then you can extend that to a 12 months uh, discount, which is better than any of the public facing websites that Intuit has out there. So be sure again, check that out and it's in the description below. Email your questions to Steve Chase at sequentialsolutions.com. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.